Okay, earlier I tied up um, a Mike Lawson version of a uh, electric caddis, um, which would be the old school way and a really cool way. Um, this is going to be the a new take on the uh, the electric caddis, and really, even though the Mike Lawson way is the old school way, um, I just watched it yesterday, um, and I've been really tying electric caddises up more like this. Um, than the way that uh, Mike Lawson was tying his up um, and they're, they're both very different patterns from one another and I love them both but we're going to just start out with some um, chartreuse thread here on our our hook and this pattern is going to have a couple of really interesting kind of little takes on it see so I've got a four, size 14 scud hook here in the vise So I'm going to start out by putting a little bit of um, Antron yarn on on here. Um, I wish I had chartreuse, but I don't have that, so we're going to make do with this today. So we're going to take our Antron yarn here, um, and we're going to just start tie, kind of tying it in right here in the middle. Um, go ahead and secure that down with a, a thread wrap or two, and then we'll just start moving down uh, the body of this pattern. And we're going to have this really this yarn is going to be used to create a, a stubby little tail um, at the end and it's going to help us out a little bit with taper as well so we'll go ahead and take this down around the band of the hook here and we'll bring it back up towards the eye um, we're going to go a little bit further than that we'll go ahead and take a few thread wraps here And from there, I'm going to take this material. Um, actually, I'm going to take another wrap or two here. Let's get ahead of myself. I'm good with that. Um, so now that I've got that on there, uh, that way, I'm going to go ahead and take this antron, and I'm going to fold it backwards, um, back over the hook here, and I'll just take two or three thread wraps, or four, or five, and then we're going to stop right there. We're going to cut this off, and I'm going to cut this off at an angle that will help us a little bit with the tapering. And so how I do that is um, the flatter I sit my scissors and the straighter back I hold this yarn, the more it's going to kind of cut off at more of that kind of a taper. So with that done, we'll go ahead and we're going to secure that right in, just like that. And that's going to help us a little bit with the taper. So for this, I'm going to take a little piece of uh, micro tubing. It's it's hollow in the middle and very stretchy. And I'm going to um, also use some chartreuse small uh, UTC ultra wire. And basically, you're going to feed this ultra wire into the end of this tube. When you have it done, it's going to kind of look something like this. Um, so I've got basically the micro tubing on the outside and the chartreuse wire on the inside of the tubing. Um, the best hint I've had about this one so far has been um, focused more on um, not trying to push the wire through the micro tubing so much as uh, trying to hold the wire steady as you try to twist and just um, twist back and forth the micro tubing to cover over the wire. So we're going to just take this uh, that we've prepared already. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and tie this in. Um, take a couple of thread wraps here, and then I may pull it back a little bit. That's going to be just fine. Um, so I'm going to take some pretty tight thread wraps moving down um, so that we can kind of maintain our taper here. Um, and we're going to just take that down around to the bend of the hook here, right where that Antron yarn is sticking out. So once I've got it right about there, um, we'll go ahead and bring our thread back up, and we will, you know, we'll take a few wraps to kind of create a taper, um, tying that front end of the wire in as well at the same time. So once we have this have a pretty good taper going, um, I'm going to go ahead and just throw in a couple of term whip finish just to kind of hold all of this in place while we work on the. We're not going to cut our thread off, but I am going to throw in a couple of turn whip finish here and just to kind of preserve what we're working on here. 
and I'll tighten that thread up just a just a hair. Put my whip finisher back. Now we're going to start working with the micro tubing here uh, with the chartreuse thread. And when we start around the the bottom here, that first wrap is going to be our most important one. And we can actually pull on this and stretch it a little bit as we work our way up. So now we're just going to take that one turn, uh, touch the turn before it. So I just defined a touching turn. So now that we've got that up near the, the eye of the hook, we're going to just go ahead and take our thread and a couple of turns there. Secure that micro tubing down and in place. Um, so now we've got our body going. Go ahead and sneak in here with our scissors and we'll cut out the excess that we have there. And some of it slipped off, which is perfectly fine. Um, but back here, we're going to cut this yarn off right, you know, about enough to give us a, a decent looking little tail there. Um, I'm going to just take a few more thread wraps up towards the eye to create a bit of a thread base. And I'm actually going to start the next piece right where that slipped. So that's why it was okay that it slipped the way that it did. Um, so here we go. We're, we're right here. The next step is we're going to tie in um, some uh, ostrich plume. And I'm using a, a brown ostrich plume here. So I'm going to find uh, one of the little feathers there. So I've got my piece of ostrich here and I'm going to tie this right in the side of the hook. I'll just secure it back here where we're going to start our, our work. Our thread's starting to split on this but that's okay I think as well. Um, go ahead and take a few wraps up towards the eye and that will bring our thread back together. Go ahead and come in with our scissors and I'm going to clip out this end. Probably could have done that to start with but um, I didn't want to go all the way to the butt of the, the feather, but, and I didn't. So then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to bring it back, you know, about an eye length away, um, and let the rotary do the work that I need the ro rotary to do. That's what I got it for. So we're going to try to take our wraps moving up front with one right in front of the previous one so that we're not trapping as much. Um, while also trying to focus on not breaking the feather as we go through this little operation here. Okay, so I've got that. Still got my tension on there. I'm going to take a, a nice wrap over the top of that piece of ostrich here. Pull that forward a little bit. And I'll actually pull that, all of that, a little bit back. We'll go ahead and tie it right over the top of it, just like so. And then I can just break that off. We're left with a nice fuzzy kind of head there. We're going to circle back in with our whip finisher at this point. Take a few turn whip finish here. Just like so. Um, and with that done, we can go ahead and come back in with our scissors now and we can cut that tying thread off. Just like so. Okay. Um, so here I go with fire again. Um, so I've got my aim in flame. And we're going to try to be really careful here because um, I just really want to singe the top. Uh, of that ostrich. Just about like so. Um, so that should do us nicely. So we still have kind of the legs sticking out towards the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a dabbing brush here and we're just going to try to break off a little bit of that burnt material there just like that and then we're going to circle back in and we're going to use some UV resin so 
put some UV resin on the top here. I'm going to go get my UV light so it's ready to go. Basically what we're going to try to do here is create a, a nice resin uh, top um, while leaving the nice fluffy legs kind of underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my expensive R UV tool here, which is my sewing pin. Get some resin on here. And I just kind of let that soak in just a little bit. This is probably going to take a couple of coats, but that's okay. So there you go. Um, this is the the more updated version. This is the kind I've tied more frequently, um, with the Gantron yarn coming out as the tail and the uh, micro tubing, the ostrich curl, and kind of burning off the top of the ostrich curl and putting some UV resin down in its place. And um, actually makes for a really good looking uh, fly, a really good looking um, representation of a caddis pupa, and um, it'll catch you some fish. So give it a shot. Thank you.